हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू थिंक कंप्यूटर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड रिमाइंडर इन क्यू बेसिक प्रोग्रामिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ वन एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट इफ आई हैव अ नंबर सेवेंटी विच आई एम गोइंग टू डिवाइड बाय टू सो टू थर्टी फाइव जो सेवेंटी zero so in this example what is 70 70 is the dividend what is 2 2 is the divisor zero is the remainder as you know already and 35 is the quotient so we are trying to understand that in programming whenever we are performing division what quotient we will get what remainder we will get when we are writing any formula okay so there are two operators used in this this is called mod operator which is used for remainder in q basic and this is the slash operator which is used for division now we will be taking examples first we will be taking examples of positive numbers if i say 35 slash 2 that means we are asking to divide 35 by 2 so the answer will be 17.5 as you know But in the same case, if I write int thirty-five by two, now int is used to get the integer part of the number, whatever result comes after the division. If the result is seventeen point five, then it will give me seventeen point five will be removed from the number. Okay, this is the use of int. Taking one more example, if I do hundred by three, then the answer is coming thirty-three point three 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 three, like that. But if I write int hundred by three, then the result will be thirty three. That means the fractional part what we are getting after the division, that part will not be present in the answer if I use int. So this is how the slash operator means the quotient one works. Okay, we are focusing more on the mod operator in this video because that is the place where most of the confusion is present. So we will take examples of positive numbers first. If I take thirty-five mod two, okay, so two seventeen is a thirty-four. What's the remainder? One. So that is what we get. Okay, you can check by doing division. It's very easy, but still, two seventeen is a thirty-four. Remainder one. Okay, another example. Ten mod two. So two five is a ten. There is no remainder, so zero. Another example, ten mod three. So three three is a nine. If you subtract ten minus nine, remainder is one. Okay. So in all of these examples, the dividend is greater or equal to the divisor, as you saw. But we can also have examples where the dividend means the first number is smaller than the second number, which is the divisor. For example, if I have five mod ten. So here I am going to tell you one concept that is whenever the dividend means the first number here is less than means smaller than the second number you will write down the dividend itself as the remainder you don't have to do any rough work or anything it's simple so 5 mod 10 will be 5 another example 2 mod 10 will be 2 okay another example 1 mod 10 will be 1 Similarly, one mod hundred will be one. Similarly, five mod thousand will be five. Similarly, zero mod ten will be zero. Are you understanding? That means whenever the first number means the dividend in these examples, you see in these examples you see is smaller than the second number, which is the divisor. So we will write down the dividend itself as the remainder. Clear? Now we will take example of negative numbers. Okay, so suppose it is minus five mod two equal to what? And second example five mod minus two equal to what? And third example minus five mod minus two equal to what? So here the rule is, whenever the first number is negative, then only there will be a minus sign in the output in the answer. Clear? Whenever there is A minus sign with the first number means the dividend. 
then only the result will have a minus sign okay so that is what you need to follow and whenever you will find the remainder you will ignore the minus sign and just perform the division and see what is coming for example you ignore the minus sign and just do 5 mod 2 so 2 to the 4 remainder is 1 correct so you write down 1 and since the first number is negative so the answer is minus 1 in the second example again 5 mod 2 don't see the minus sign just do 5 mod 2 2 to the 4 remainder is 1 is the first number negative no so answer will be only 1 in the third example minus 5 mod minus 2 again same 5 mod 2 remainder is 1 is the first number negative yes so put a minus sign so rules are in this that when the first number is negative then only the answer the remainder will be negative you don't have to see the second number if it is negative or not only the first number now let's take more examples like 2 mod minus 20 again is the first number negative no so answer will be positive 2 mod 20 don't see 2 mod minus 20 see 2 mod 20 so the first number is smaller than second number answer is 2 you will not see the minus sign in the second number that has to be ignored another example 4 mod 3 minus 3 okay so just 4 mod 3 3 1 a 3 remainder is 1 it will not be minus 1 since the first number is positive but if I say minus 4 mod 3 in that case again it is 1 but since the first number is negative so the answer will be minus so it's minus 1 okay now I have already prepared some questions I am showing you in QBasic and we will check all the answers in QBasic itself so here are 15 examples I am going to tell you all the answers first and then we will check in the output 5 mod 10 first number is smaller than second number so answer will be 5 10 mod 5 normal division perform the division 5 to the 10 no remainder 0 0 mod 10 first number is smaller answer is 0 third example minus 4 mod 10 first number is negative answer has to be negative and 4 mod 10 answer will be 4 then 4 mod 2 no remainder I mean 0 so answer will be 0 here we will not write minus 0 because minus 0 is not there right only 0 is there minus 4 mod 3 again 4 mod 3 remainder is 1 and since the first number is uh, negative so minus 1 in this then minus 4 mod minus 3 same case 4 mod 3 you do first remainder is 1 since the first number is negative so it will be minus 1 again 4 mod minus 2 this one remainder will be 0 minus 5 mod minus 10 ignore the minus sign just do 5 mod 10 answer is 5 since the first number is negative minus 5 10 mod 5 again remainder is 0 minus 5 mod 2 remainder is minus 1 same logic I am applying 5 mod minus 8 answer is 5 8 mod 5 answer is 3 3 mod 300 minus 300 I mean answer is 3 3 mod minus 30 answer is 3 3 mod minus 2 answer is 1 now I am going to run this and show you all the outputs you can match what I said here are the outputs you can see side by side 5 mod 10 I told 5 10 mod 5 0 since no remainder 0 mod 10 0 because the first number is smaller that is the case for the first and the third example minus 4 mod 10 this is 4 but since the first number is negative so minus 4 minus 4 mod 2 it's completely divisible because 4 mod 2 is 0 so the answer is 0 then minus 4 mod 3 again minus 1 again minus 4 mod minus 3 minus 1 same logic first number in both examples are negative we are not seeing the minus sign in the second number then minus 4 mod minus 2 ignore the minus sign 4 mod 2 is 0 okay that we get here then uh, minus 5 mod minus 10 that is minus 5 in this case you see then 10 mod 5 this is again 0 so same logic is followed everywhere here okay